so long. Farewell. Uh, oh. Maxie, why are you singing that song? Because I'm sad. But the boys and girls are watching, and we have a special guest coming. I know, but I'm just so sad. But, but we've learned so much in the last little while, like the hope that Jesus brings, and, and how Jesus, he can bring us God's peace. Well, I guess you're right. And we found out about joy that comes from being in a right relationship with God. Hope, joy, peace. God offers us all those things. Which is why you do not need to be sad. Did you hear that? I think so. Hello? Hello? Marvin, are you in there? There! Did you hear that? I think I did. I wonder what that is. Guys, I'm outside. Hello? Max, did you remember to unlock the door? Um, maybe not. Well, that means our guest is outside and we are inside. We think, you think we should go get her? Absolutely! Okay, I'll go get her. Uh, uh you, you entertain uh, the people. What, wait, uh, <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. I was able to unlock the door. Yeah, but the only reason you had to unlock it is because you forgot to unlock it earlier. Well, I only forgot because, well, um, yeah, that's not important. Today, we have a guest with us named a person in a chair. Um, that's not my name. My name is Pastor Crystal. Well, then why in my notes does it say, Max introduces person in the chair. I think someone might have made a mistake. Oh, that's a little judgy of you, don't you think? You know what? I think it's a really good idea. Maybe we just get to the show. Great idea. Um, so you're here to talk about love. That's right, love. love. Well, I'm not going to really talk about love. What? But I want to talk about a man named David. Like my cousin? No, it's not like your cousin. This David was from a little town of Bethlehem. God says that David was brought from tending sheep as a shepherd to be the shepherd of all God's special people. Hey, I heard something like that. Uh, I memorized a verse mm -hmm. when when the wise men came to visit Jesus, they said, ready? <clears throat> but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, a ruler will come out of you, and he will rule my people Israel like a shepherd. Oh, good job. Thanks. Yes. David was pointing the way to Jesus, and David's belief in God was big, and his trust in God's word was strong. And David loved God, and God was with him. And David became a king over all of God's people. Sounds like my cousin could learn a two or thing from this guy. Yeah. David loved God so much that he wanted to do something super special for God. Like make God a birthday cake? Like a, like a chocolate cake. With sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Oh, yeah. that, no, no. No? No, David wanted to build a house for God. But God surprised David. God promised to build David a house, not a real house made of bricks or wood, but the kingdom. God's kingdom! Whoa! Cool. cool! Then God surprised David again. God promised David that someone from David's family would be the forever king! Whoa, a forever king? The promised one who would bring God's blessing to all of the people of the earth! Whoa! That's the same promise God made to Abraham! Yep. It sure was. And God loves us so much that he wants every single one of us to be a part of his family. Hey, is Jesus the promised one from David's family? He is. Is, and that's is Jesus God's forever king? Yes. Whoa. And that is why Christmas is so special. It reminds us of God's love and his promise that he would come in the form of a tiny little baby named Jesus. You know what, Pastor Crystal, person what? in the chair? What? That's the best piece of news I have heard in a long time. Mm-hmm. Hope, joy, peace, and love. Does it get any better? Well, maybe if there were some Sprinkles! Chocolate sprinkles! Sprinkles! Yeah! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. You guys and your cake. Hope, oi, peace, and lose. Oh, Max, you are so funny. <laughs> Sing. 
boys and girls, for a crack time with Crystal and Maggie. We are so glad that you have joined us again. We are doing another craft. Are you ready to see what it's gonna look like? We are doing an advent wreath. What do those say? Can you read them with me? They say hope, peace, Jesus, joy, and love. All right, are you ready to get started? The first thing that you need to do is print this off. So you can go to our Northview Kids website and we will have this template for you, okay? Next thing that you're gonna do, just like Maggie, she's coloring it. So you're gonna get your markers or your pencil crayons or your crayons, whatever you wanna color with, and you're gonna start coloring it, okay? So we did our wreath green, then we did some other colors up here. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your tissue paper out, all right? So we chose to use red right here. We got some orange and we got some yellow, okay? So what we did with the berries is we got some glue. Maggie, can I get in there for a sec? And we just took the glue and we put it right on top of the little berries that are on our advent wreath, okay? So we just put a nice little big dollop, I guess. It's not really little. And now we took the tissue paper, just like that, and we put them on like this, okay? So you're gonna just take some squares here. You want some? I'll rip them off for you. Here's a few more. And then you're gonna put them on so that your picture has a few little fun designs to it just like this. Okay, the other thing that we did was we took some yellow strips. You're gonna rip those up. You have five candles. So you're gonna do five squares. One, two, three, four, five. Two, oh, it stuck to me. Three, four, and five. And you're gonna do that with the orange as well. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna need to do that with the red paper as well. A little bit more red right here. So to make this a little bit easier, this is what I did. I took a marker, I put the tissue paper right on the end like this, and then, I dolloped it on right in the middle. Watch this, Maggie, see? You put it on then like that, and then you put it on, and you wanna do a red one, a yellow one, and an orange one on each flame, just like this, okay? And then they kind of look like they're on fire. How do they look, Meg? Good. Good, right there. It was so fun being able to do all these crafts with you every weekend. We're gonna finish this up. Again, this is what our advent wreath looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed doing crafts with us because we sure love doing them with you. All right, Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time. Hey friends, it's time for our special advent series memory verse. It comes from Isaiah 9 verse six. The words will show up on the screen and I will do the actions. So why don't you stand up on your feet and do it with me. Here we go. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. Isaiah 9 verse 6. Awesome, we're gonna do it one more time. So make sure you're standing and you follow along with me. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us and he will be called wonderful advisor and mighty God. He will also be called father who lives forever and prince who brings peace. Isaiah 9 verse six. Awesome, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. While shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night Behold throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born The shepherds feared and trembled Above the earth rang out the angels.
angel chorus that hailed the Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in the lowly manger, our humble Christ was born. Well, boys and girls, that's our time for today. Here is something you need to know. By sending Jesus into the world, world as a baby, God showed how much he loved and continues to love us. So maybe this week you can cut out a large heart and write out God's love on it. Then at dinner this week, as you are eating with your family, you can pass the heart out to everyone around the table, and then everyone gets to share one way God has showed his love to them that day. Or maybe you can buy some ornaments as a gift to your neighbors. You can include a note with the good news of Jesus' birth on those ornaments. Then you can leave the ornaments with the notes on your neighbor's door, or even better yet, you just hand them to your neighbor and let them know that Jesus came into the world as a baby to save them. Boys and girls, I love you guys. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys again. Mm -hmm.